Hi, this is Marla McNulty, and you're watching Ohio Sports Nut. <laughs> Hi, I'm Macy Yadville, and I play for Elyria Softball, and this is Ohio Sports Nut. Hi, we are from Amerson Elyria, and this is Ohio Sports Nut. The game right here. <laughs> So one of the special announcements that we have today is the Lorain County Coaches Association has now started a Hall of Fame. This will be the first inducting class of Lorain County Coaches Association Hall of Fame. And the first gentleman that we're going to induct into the Hall of Fame spent numerous hours covering Lorain County softball. All the staff, everything that we know about Lorain County softball, this gentleman we gave it all to us so we could have the history of the programs of all Lorain County. He knows every Miss Softball. He knows every state champion. He knows every district champion. He knows everything about Lorain County softball. And uh, the first inductee in, um, here to receive his award is Dwayne Senegal from Wellington. Is Bob Daniels from the Chronicle Telegram. Bob was unable, he had surgery, um, and uh, he had, you know, he said he was in a lot of pain today to come, but this is so well deserving for Bob Daniels, so we'd like to um, congratulate Bob. The next inductee, he had an overall record of 596 wins, 114 losses in his 25 years of coaching. He's had 22 conference championships, 17 district championships, 12 regional championships, four state runner-ups, and three state champions. Never less than 17 wins in a season, and only four seasons under the Our next inductee would like to bring out Ken Finnick from Valeria High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Simmons from Alaria High School. The shortstop from Keystone High School, Angel Minnesota.
officially a home run for Macy Godbolt of Illyria. Her team trims the deficit to only two now. Four to our score. Wrong team, that's six nothing now. Six nothing.
base hit, Izzy St. Peter. Hey, 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 I just want to tell you, this was an unbelievable throw for me. I'm proud of you girls and everything you've accomplished. And man, I wish you the best of luck in the future. We need a picture with you. I need a picture with you. All right, well, I'll take it. Thank you. Ladies, best of luck next year. Best of luck next year. You too. All right, we got to get out. It feels great. It was definitely weird, you know, those months that we couldn't play. Definitely just a big shock that we couldn't get out on the field like we wanted to for the rest of our season. But to be back is like just an honor, honestly. And for all of the coaches that put on this event, I really do appreciate it because it gives us like our final shot. Yeah, high school softball. It was great that they were trying to do something like at least let us all have closure, like at least play it with each other one last time because we're all going our separate ways. So it was awesome that we got to, got the chance to do this. It meant a lot. Just I grew up with these girls, every single one of them. I played with them on travel ball teams and OGSO teams just growing up. So just getting the chance to play with them all again, just it was. It was a great experience to have because of everything going on. I loved it. I think everybody got along so well. Um, we all love each other. It was fun to play with my soon-to-be teammates for, from BG, Marley and Emma, and even playing with my old teammates, Izzy and Mal. It's just a big honor, and I'm going to miss them when I go to school. But I know when we come back, we're going to all get together. Hopefully, we can play a game when we get back together. It was just so exciting because like the, the game really at that point like didn't matter. It was just like memories and friends and we were like remember this and remember that and I just like met new people and it's just it, that was like my favorite part about all of it. We all just like came together really like we were like all right well we all didn't get this opportunity so we're just gonna have fun with it and not take it so seriously because like this is like the only really chance that we have to all like, get together as like a huge program and it was cool to meet new people and to see new faces and like we all were on the same page which was really awesome.
That batter, Mel McGregory, records a base hit. Hender shot. I was, I was I haven't swung in like months. <laughs> Let's go, Tay. But you were trying to put that ball in, in the North Ridgeville, weren't you? Yeah, I was trying to. I don't think it was going to go get there. <laughs> you connected, I don't know. After two complete Temperature here in the middle innings. Six. Coaching is easy, isn't it? If you've arrived late, team, like team Barch is it. Oops. Go Rusty. Tough crowd. <laughs> In that inning, no run, hit, or error. No runs, one hit. Now batting Nessa Regal. from Black River High School. I like that. Hey, On deck, Alexis Wall.
That completes our ball game here today. Game two, our final score. Team Barch falls four to three at the hands of Team McNeese. But a good time had by all. If you would still like to play Little League ball this summer, you still can. Reach out to Elyria Little League. It felt really good to get out and everybody be able to come together for one last uh, senior game. It felt felt pretty good. Honestly, I'm not a leadoff batter, but it felt finally good to hit a ball and come back with everybody. It felt good. I'm just glad that, especially with opponents being on our team, I'm glad that we like when we were on the field we played as a team instead of like opponents like usual. It felt really good coming together. Awesome. I had a great time. I don't know if you saw me, but I sure had a great time. Oh, offense is great. I love hitting. <laughs> uh, you know, I really tried my best, looked at all the balls, you know, watched the pitches come in, made sure I had a good count to hit the ball, and, you know, just had fun with it. What you learn from this whole experience of the season and everything? Honestly, don't take it for granted. I mean, you step on the field because you love the game, and it's really just, it's, it comes to show that play every game like it's your last, and I think that's what everybody did. I learned a lot about myself through this sport. I was talking to a lot of different people outside of softball, and it really has taught me to not only cherish the sport, but the people in the community that I'm involved with, because I realized like, anything can be taken from you, and this really just showed, like, that I need to start cherishing the people around it and the, everyone that has, like, not even just like our coaches, but my teammates, the umpires, the people that come and support us. It's really like it goes far beyond softball. Definitely never take anything for granted. Um, I really just savor every single time with my family, my friends, my teammates, everything like that. I never take anything for granted anymore because you just never know what's going to happen anymore. This season, not having this season was definitely rough. I definitely won't take things for granted now, and um, it's definitely humbled me a lot because I didn't get my senior season to play. So it's just, um, it's just weird. But I love to be back, and I can't wait for fall. Oh.